One of the world's most interesting and largest robotics trade fairs, IREX 2023, took place in Tokyo, Japan at the Big Sight Exhibition Center. Welcome to the Trend Visionary. In this video, we'll witness the anticipation and excitement as we step into the world of IREX 2023. Get ready for an immersive experience showcasing the best of Japanese robotics. This year, more than 650 companies from all over the world presented their developments at the exhibition. The theme of the exhibition, Sustainable Society Created by Robotics, corresponds exactly to the Japanese vision of a bright future with robots. By the way, unlike Europeans, in Asia, robots are assistants, not competitors. Not for nothing. In addition to the large number of standard solutions for industry and production at IREX, there were many humanoid robots and, of course, anime robots. More cobots with value-added applications. Collaborative robots, also known as cobots, took on an even more prominent role this time. Yamaha launched a seven-axis cobot. Universal Robots launched its new UR30-some large-load cobots at the show. Fanook and Denso placed some products from the same category, which had already been introduced earlier this year, prominently. Finuk, Denso, and UR presented some interesting demos of high-force torque tightening, precision assembly, polishing, and screw seating inspection applications that require intelligent use of integrated power sensors. Fanuk also highlighted its smooth direct teaching capabilities for welding, powder coating, or with payloads up to 30 kilograms. The fact that several large manufacturers gave Cobots such a prominent presence highlights the strategic importance they're now giving this product category. Zero Teach Robotics Machine vision combined with automated path generation received a boost for so long. Zero Teach is the new buzzword. Traditional applications are random part picking and easy palletizing. This has been shown by a multitude of robotics manufacturers, as well as machine vision companies that are also offering robotic motion control, such as Mujin from Japan or MechMind from China. The former also presented its TruckBot, an autonomous robot that can unload both truck trailers and shipping containers at a rate of up to 1,000 cases per hour. Fanuk showed auto path generation for arc welding. Both Fanuk and Yaskawa showed zero programming solutions for easy palletizing. Under the name Motoman Next, Yaskawa presented some applications for verticals such as dishwashing, food inspection and sorting, and laboratories. At this point, these are more demonstrations of what can technically be done, as Yaskawa is just starting to offer these solutions to customers. Nachi and Omron showed corresponding applications for the dynamic placement of FPC connectors in electronic products. They claimed that a slightly different version was already used in electronics manufacturing. Denso presented some impressive applications of its real-time control software, TwinCat, realized in collaboration with Beckhoff, a voice-controlled cobot application, and some transparent or glossy workpiece picking in collaboration with Cambrian. More machine vision in combination with automated and dynamic path planning also means good business prospects for NVIDIA, which was also an exhibitor and entertains partnerships with several of the leading Japanese robot manufacturers. Variable mix, variable volume automated lines, the booths of Amran and Yaskawa featured variable mix, variable volume automated lines. These lines showcased mobile cobots and layout-free production, enabling adaptability in the production environment and on-site data management for continuous productivity and quality improvement. Yaskawa is using its i3 Mechatronics platform for this, a promising approach after Japanese automation suppliers came to embrace the concept of interconnected production processes relatively late. Yaskawa's new YRMX controller controls several machines along a whole line. High payload robots. Like in other countries, Japanese robotics companies have a legacy in the automotive industry. This is still reflected in the introduction of some high payload robots. Fanuk introduced a new serial link robot with a 500 kg payload, over flip capability, and integrated 2D and 3D cameras. Target applications are the handling of heavy automotive parts. Yaskawa presented the Motoman ME 1000, a SCARA robot with a payload of 1000 kg tailored for the handling of electric vehicle batteries. Japanese robotics companies collaborate on SME automation. Maybe the most important news for the Japanese robotics industry these days came a day before the start of IREX 2023. The Robot Industrial Basic Technology Collaborative Innovation Partnership a group including major Japanese robotics and automation companies, 
announced that it is creating a joint database to facilitate the introduction of robots at small and medium-sized enterprises. According to a white paper by the Japanese government, SMEs are responsible for 99.7% of Japanese companies, yet the value added per worker for the country's SMEs in manufacturing is just over one-third of that for its big businesses. At the same time, SMEs often lack the funds for capital investment. The new system is supposed to speed up the automation of this sector by sharing some basic information on robot specifications, operations, and software. It is set to be available in 2024 and is supposed to reduce integration costs by up to 60%. Access will be free for smaller companies in the beginning. In addition to robotics manufacturers such as Fanuc, Denso, Panasonic, Yaskawa, Nachi, Kawasaki, Epson, Daihen, and Mitsubishi. The initiative is supported by the University of Tokyo, the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, and the New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization. The program is open for further participants to increase the completeness of the database and ultimately, the competitiveness of the Japanese manufacturing sector. In the future, the group is considering combining generative artificial intelligence with its database to further lower the threshold for automation. A similar approach by Google DeepMind and 33 research institutions recently has shown some promising results. This announcement was in line with the theme of this year's show, Sustainable Society Brought by Robotics, emphasizing solutions to global challenges and the creation of a sustainable society through collaborative efforts between manufacturers, system integrators, and users. Initiatives to boost productivity through more automation are urgently needed in Japan. The country's economy has been stagnating for three decades, and its post-pandemic recovery remains fragile. A shrinking population further limits the upsides to its growth. Despite Japan's distinctive cultural traits, such as its approach to immigration, its advancements can serve as a model for other countries facing aging populations. Japan's leading robotics and automation manufacturers have demonstrated high innovation at IREX, including a joint database for robot operation and adjustment, potentially enhanced by generative AI. This innovation is expected to benefit Japanese factory automation firms as companies reevaluate geopolitical risks and supply chain moves. Corporate culture in Japan is also changing, with governance reforms pressuring management teams to enhance value and return on equity. The average age of CEOs at Nikkei stock index firms has dropped by 12 years over the past decade. Japan's startup ecosystem is becoming more vibrant, with investments growing tenfold from 2013 to 2022 and the number of VC funds quadrupling. Foreign companies are becoming more open to collaboration with a new leadership generation. That's a wrap for today's adventure at IREX 2023. If you enjoyed this tour, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more exciting content. Thanks for joining us on Trend Visionary. Until next time, keep dreaming big and embracing the future.